It is Professor Dave from dragondropcode.com. I've got like the simplest app in the world. I've got one button. It's got the text click red on it. And it's got some properties here. And down here is a, just a spreadsheet. And this represents the hidden memory of an app. So think of an app with a brain and it remembers things. And right now it's got all the properties of the button. And you know this, this is kind of the live values up here. And, I, and this is just annotation. It says initial properties. But when you look at that right side panel, these are the, the launch time. So when your app launches, this is the initial value that those properties are gonna take on, okay? Um, and that's different than you know this hidden memory that's keeping track of things as things run. So let's go to the blocks and let's add a real simple behavior where when the button is clicked, we're gonna change the button to red. So this set block is how we change um, values in, in a button and we're gonna change the background color and we wanna change it to red. So I'm gonna grab this red here. Okay, so um, if I run this now and I'm gonna go back to the designer, if I run my app, um, you know, it starts out blue, right? Because the initial properties say the background color should start out blue. And in my little fake spreadsheet down here, it's blue. And then when the user clicks and that event handler, hap event handler happens, the button turns red. Really in this hidden memory, the background color changes to red. But the initial properties, the background still color still blue. Because this is not like the live values. This is just, you know, you're specifying how it's, the app's gonna start out. Um, so this is an app that's running, the button background color is red now, it's, an, it's initial background color is still, still blue and that's because of this, this hidden memory.